today I'm going to talk about something that is quite controversial and has remained so internationally for the last four years in particular and that is Trump and I suppose the people in Dumbeg and West Clare have the same varied um, and differing opinions in relation to Donald Trump's presidency as the rest of Ireland and indeed the world and, and the US in particular. I suppose for the people of Dumbeg and West Clare, what Trump means is the project here in Dumbeg in terms of Dumbeg Golf Club and what it means to the area. The Dumbeg Golf Club was established as initiated as a project where the local people, Dumbeg Development in particular, wanted to create something that would generate employment and retain communities, retain young people, have a sense of belonging and a vibrant community for people to live and work and raise their children. And it, the project was initiated over, over 25 years ago, uh, but even before that, over 100 years ago, it was seen as somewhere that had the potential to be developed as a golf course because it was initially looked at by the people who went on to develop La Hinge. So they're very similar in, in that regard. So the Dumbeg Development Organization, um, along with Shannon Development, went to Europe and secured 2.4 million pounds as it was in the time in the 90s to purchase the land here and then prospect it out in terms of developing a golf course and a beautiful fantastic golf course it turned out to be uh, developed initially by Landmark National um, under the uh, guidance of the great white shark Greg Norman as the designer and it was a real beacon of hope for the people of Dumbeg and West Clare in terms of the opportunities that could arise from it in terms of keeping our community uh, alive and, and a living, vibrant community. And the uh, owner subsequently obviously sold it on and Kiowa Properties owned it for a number, long number of years. And even in their time, the issue in relation to uh, coastal protection was very much on the agenda. And I suppose when Trump International became owners in 2014, um, it was one of the things that the first things that they did in terms of looking at uh, how to protect the dunes here in Dune Bay. Um, and I suppose the main point is that the dunes and the reason you can see the hotel there behind me um, the dunes and the reason that we need the coastal protection in the first place is that in, we initially had you know these round stones that we call bowlies these were removed from the beach here in Duckmore beginning in the early part of the 19th the 20th century um, by the local authorities of the time and they were hauled up and put into a crusher and crushed and used to build the roads that we have in West Clare today. So man came along and removed nature's barrier basically. Um, so as you see now this is the only section, this middle section of the long beach here at Duckmore. Uh, nearly five kilometers long of beach um, this is the main the middle section that ha still has bowlies as we call them today but the other parts don't and you can see this very obviously if you go to the adjacent beach which is called the Clahar and it is completely covered in these bowlies because they were never remote moved from there so that is nature's um, natural boundary to protect these dunes uh, as you can see behind me and there's three areas in particular where they are very um, 
uh, they've eroded considerably and are very vulnerable to the elements that is the Atlantic Ocean. So, um, as I said, that happened in the early part of the 20th century. And then, when we had our building boom, I suppose, in the 60s and 70s, and individual houses started to be built, people took the sand here from the, um, the beach, from the dunes in particular, to build, to build houses, again, to build more roads. A lot of construction was happening at that time. So the sand dunes themselves were removed, again, by man uh, to uh, build things, houses and badly needed resources. And we just didn't have the knowledge and the expertise at that time to uh, understand that the depletion of the sand and of the dunes would have such a negative effect. And we're in a situation now where we've had a number of storms over the last number of years that have caused considerable damage to the dunes. And it's well documented. Um, I've done it in other videos, and particularly there's an area over there right beside the, the hotel itself that is very damaged. And again, farther over along around the 14th hole. And I suppose the issue now is how do we protect it? And the Trump Organization have submitted planning, submitted planning to invest 10 million euro of their own money, not of any taxpayers' money, to uh, invest in the coastal protection that would uh, help to save the dunes, protect their property, um, but also remember to protect the properties of the adjacent farmlands. That are that are that are that are here in Duckmore, um, and we also have to remember that the Trump property is made up of 75 other individual owners, who, people who own cottages and own suites. There are people from Ireland, Dublin, Cork, around the country, and um, America and and elsewhere. So they own suites and cottages here. And they have a right to have their land protected, as well as the local, the local farmers. Um, and it affects many lands all the way around, because the surge where the river is uh, coming up the beach, uh, the river has in the past, when there has been storms, brought the sea considerably closer to people's houses than they would like. And so there's huge concern in relation to the need for this coastal protection uh, here at Doombeg. And the issue now is that Trump International put forward a plan, Trump International put forward a plan to, um, to invest in coastal protection and it received objections from around the world, from around the country, from around the world, from America, from Australia, all loads of places. And we feel that it was purely because of the Trump name that people objected to this development. Because this type of coastal protection that they were planning to do has been done up and down the west coast of Ireland, from Waterville up to Lynch, just up the road from us. And I suppose this is what irks people in Dunbeg and West Clare. They feel they're being victimised. They feel they're being, you know, uh, vilified in a lot of cases, but victimised also for this, um, for for having the Trump name associated with the property. And the Trump organisation have um, worked very well with the local people. The Dunbeg Development, when they initiated the project, asked for four things of any of the owners. They asked for uh, local membership, uh, local employment, retained access to the beautiful beach here at Duckmore, and investment in infrastructure. And every owner has honoured that, and Trump themselves as an organisation have honoured that. That is all we've ever looked for as a community, and we have worked very well with all of the owners, including Trump International. But yet, because the Trump organisation have applied for this planning permission to protect our beautiful dunes and golf club, these objections have come from around the world. 
and in developing the project further the Trump organization would like to invest another 30 million on top of that 10 million to develop more cottages build a conference center and leisure facility and this would create more opportunities for people in West Clare as it is there isn't a parish from Ennis West that there aren't people all the way up along the coast of Clare working in um, Trump Hotel and indeed the many weddings that have taken place here many of the suppliers for those uh, weddings have come from particularly Dublin um, all, uh, so they've benefited a lot of companies around not just locally here in West Clare and in County Clare a lot of companies around Ireland have benefited hugely from the Trump facility here in Dunbeg. So I suppose our issue is that that development is also conditional on there being coastal protection because there's no point in the local authority granting permission as they did to develop um, further uh, buildings and facilities and not have the coastal uh, area protected, um, the dunes protected. So the coastal protection was granted by, by Clare County Council and then it was received further objections and was appealed to Board Planala by these objectors and subsequently it was overturned by Board Planala. So we are in the precarious situation as not knowing what the future of Doombeg is because um, never mind the, the current tourism crisis and travel crisis we are in as, as in relation to the, the global pandemic that is COVID but because the uncertainty of the planning situation and you know we, we talk about planning and, and perhaps that those with no vested interest they don't live near here they don't own any property near here they've no association with an area why they have the right to object to a project that is um, located in uh, the rural part of West Clare and you might think well why is Trump the biggest employer in West Clare because we've effectively been abandoned in terms of the development of rural Ireland and the opportunities that are here which are so obvious now as well because of COVID um, so we are in this situation now we're very uncertain obviously Donald Trump's presidency has come to an end and that in itself I hope will stop some of the vilification that has happened particularly online directed at the people of Doombeg and we work with the person, people who own the property here. We have very much a vested interest in the project here in Dunbeg. We love our local area and we want to keep rural communities in West Clare vibrant and alive. And we make no apologies for working with the Trump Organization in that regard. We may disagree in relation to his presidency and some of the policies and other people agree with, with the things that he did and didn't do, but outside of that, we have to live and work in our community and we will stand up and always support our local community. And we have been treated extremely well by the Trump organization. So we make no apologies for working with them and you don't necessarily always agree with people you do business with or even you know uh, have the same views in relation to many things so we accept that and our hope now is that the focus will come off the um the planning application here at Dunbeg and what will happen and the people will simply not just object just because of the name that's associated with the planning and the impact that it has on the local community. So I uh, just wanted to kind of set that on record as to my views and I think a lot of the views of people here uh, in Dunbeg and West Clare. We hope that we continue to work with whoever owns the property here in Dunbeg um, because it is a fantastic facility, a great employer and it really promotes West Clare and everything that we have to offer here. Thank you.